Hey, um, I tried to make a vlog yesterday. I made one as soon as I came in from work and I'd forgotten to plug my laptop in and I um, played it back and there was an awful beep, like, not beep, like a buzz, like, nah, awful. Um, so I then spent a few hours um, trying to get rid of it and I um, tried different programs like searched it on the internet um, I got this program called um, Audacity or something like that yeah Audacity and there's a noise removal tool so I tried that but then I ended up sounded like I'd have tried it a few times, but it took out some of the way I was speaking, so it sounded like I was echoey, sort of robot-y, especially at the beginning, and I just thought, I, I didn't know if you'd really want to listen to that, so um, I didn't put it on in the end, because um, I, yeah, and anyway, after the weekend's vlog, somebody unsubscribed to me um, and I was a bit not pissed but like I thought oh um, and so that was in the vlog as well and when you play it back a few times when I played it back I just thought that's a bit aggressive and I didn't mean it in an aggressive way at all but I'm just saying like if you joined my channel because you want to see a certain thing then request more of that because I know that I do um, different things and different parts of the things that I do will appear appeal to different people so instead of going oh she hasn't done one of those in ages I'm unsubscribing or oh she said this that offended me you know discuss it I'm not um, someone who tries to make everybody think the same as me or like won't I don't know sometimes people say stupid things like um, when I said oh, what am I doing to my hair what, <laughs> what what I said about Japan obviously no one said anything to me about it but obviously I um, sorry obviously when I said about Japan I'm obviously feeling bad for all the people that, that it affected all the lives that were lost um, and for the country and the people there in general especially judging by how um, they've behaved afterwards how courteous they are to each other and helpful and patient and how there hasn't been looting as there would be here or in America um, which is just awful and so they've just been acting how I would consider very human in the best sense of the word and um, I wasn't just saying oh I'm worried about um, the um, ra radioactive stuff um, because of me and obviously I live miles away and there's people a lot nearer that um, we need to be concerned about and um, no one said anything like but when I was thinking back I was thinking why would they stop watching maybe you know maybe I'm boring or maybe it was that comment and I just wanted to add a little bit to explain that a little bit not so I'm selfish but I'm not that selfish um yes yeah, so anyway although I'd lost one person I checked the next day and I got three more like go figure so I think that's cheered me up and also I um had some good interactions with people today and um, that cheered me up you know when you think that you've found something for someone that they like or that they wanted she was asking for something um, from a certain brand and we couldn't find it and I had this picture in my head of a different brand so I said oh is it this brand and she very nicely came up to have a look sometimes they won't even have a look 
and she came and had a look and um, it was that brand and sometimes I do that like I can see them picturing it I always used to think I was a little bit psychic but um, then I realised I probably wasn't and it was probably my imagination but sometimes I, I'm quite perceptive and I think I get by on that but sometimes it's bad because I mostly a lot of the time actually I perceive bad things but sometimes I think I'm being paranoid I do get paran paranoid and I get very low moods but I, you know I get high ones too I suppose everybody does really I wanted to say when I'm talking about how I am or whatever I'm not trying to say oh I'm really odd and different because I'm like this you know and sometimes when I tell people and they'll say something they'll be like well that's normal I'm like that blah, blah, blah. and I'm thinking well yeah I'm not saying it's not at all normal um, it's of course I am human so it's gonna be on the scale of human behavior somewhere um, but I can't talk about other people I don't know what they're thinking unless they tell me so I can only say about me so ooh there's a the telephone I'm going to do a review next on the lipstick I'm wearing which I was sent I was sent this by Maybelline so I'll be reviewing that next and this is also probably this nail polish by Revlon don't know why I had to think then um, not sure who got the phone but it's not ringing um, you were. Um, yeah, so yesterday, what did I say? Um, what did I say yesterday? Showed you my cat, so you missed that. Um, oh, yeah, I was talking about pedestrians flipping, not crossing the road at crossings and just walking out crazily crazy people anyway um, I'm gonna stop trying to remember what I said yesterday because that's just rubbish I hope you've had a great week it's only Tuesday <laughs> um, she got um, a, an interview so well done him and I hope he um, enjoys going to I think it's in Wales uh, to um, have the interview and um, um, I hope he gets it and it would be him travelling around a lot though but I just still hope he gets it he's in a bit don't understand men. I just don't. Why can't you communicate like women do? I'm sorry, that service is sexist. Um, uh, I know not everybody's like that. Oh, I had some strange dreams. I had a dream there was a man and he was, he was wearing all black and it was at work, but work looked different. And um, he um, asked me a question and I've got to stop fidgeting. He asked me a question and I had to go away and find out about this thing and um, when I came back he was on the till and he was um, doing till stuff and he was all in black so I thought maybe he just started and um, yeah sorry I just had a brain freeze basically there were security guards in the queue for the till and when I came back to give him the answer he sort of saw the security guards and bolted out the door the shopping center and um, these security guards from the shop next door who were waiting in the queue like trying to keep on cover went ran after him, caught him and he'd stolen loads of stuff out the till because he wasn't supposed to be in but some idiot had left their number in. So they'd got on he'd got on into the till and then just been acting like he was staff and taking loads of money. That was a weird dream. I had another weird dream 
Um, sometimes I dream films, which is great, like my own films. Um, and I sort of did that, and it. I can't remember a lot of it though, unfortunately now. Um, but I know it involved. Um, I'm not dodging you that side. It's probably in the cinema. Um, I know it involved my mum was on the my mum was on the street but she was old like really old because she had short grey curly hair um, which she doesn't have and um, my camera's stopping so Anyway, um, she, she, I left my bag in the club to try and help her find this place, and there was also a villain in it, and there was um, cakes, <laughs> lots of different desserts, and this probably isn't recording properly because the camera's jumping. I'm really sorry about that. Um, it's probably short of space. I just wanted to finish this dream, and there was um, like goodies and baddies, and there was the there were these children, and the baddie was trying to kill all these children, and one of the guys who worked for the baddie went to find this child, and he was supposed to like exterminate them and vaporize them. It was a bit tronish if you've seen Tron um, and he was supposed to like and he told them he was supposed to kill them but then he told them what to do which actually would have saved them and a lot of other people but the child had already been got to by the baddie and he turned back so the child killed the guard instead it was, it was a shocking like you know when you're watching a film and something like that happens and it just flips everything and you go oh. yeah there was like this evil sort of Hitler dude trying to exterminate you. 